My next project is using cereal boxes, and I recently read on the internet that the U.S. consumes 2.8 billion boxes of cereal a year. 2.8 billion boxes. So what are we doing with all those cereal boxes? Well, I have a project using them for mosaics, so let's take a look at this project. Here's the actual project that I'm going to show you today. This is the coaster that's made with cereal boxes. It has plastic on the, the top and the bottom, and you can see the, the cereal box here. And it's really easy to do, so let me show you how. First thing you need is a piece of cereal box, and we're going to turn it over. And on the back or the inside, we're going to paint it black. And just use an acrylic paint. And just brush it on. Until you have it all covered. Now I'm going to put this one aside because I already have one dry. Here's my one that's already dry. And I'm going to take and measure out my squares. Now, let me give you a hint here too, is that if you don't, if you have just a regular ruler, you don't have one of these see-through rulers, I mean, this is like a must in my toolbox. I love this ruler because you can see through where, and any time you want to measure, you can see through. So this shows me a half inch, and that's what I want. I want half inch lines. And see, I can see underneath. If you don't have one of these rulers, be sure you go out and buy yourself one because it is so easy to see through things. So you're going to go like that. You're going to go all the way across and then you're going to go down. So it's going to be like that. So this is showing me all my different squares that I can put my pieces in. Then I go and I cut some strips, some half inch strips of different colors of the, of the cereal boxes. And I have some here in green. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do I'm going to glue some use some glue. And I just usually put a little dot and then I just put my little Pieces, the little pieces that I cut, they're ha like half inch by half inch. And I just go right along and glue them. And if I need to trim, then I just trim them to fit. Okay, so then you do, what I did was different colors and went all the way down and I have one here that's already ready. Now if I turn this over you can see where it's gone over the edge so what I do is I cut them. So I'm just trimming off that extra. Then I have two pieces of clear plastic and I actually have used the shrink plastic, the clear shrink plastic for my cover. And I have this tape that I put on it and I wanted to show you that this is the, it's a silver copper foil and it's a tape that you, you use in like stained glass and it's about a quarter inch and it comes with like 36 yards and what I do is I cut it a little bit more than four inches. I cut four pieces and
It's a self-adhesive tape. You peel back the back. And you have to be really careful when you pull this the tape off because it gets sometimes it gets really curly. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up. I want the the middle of that plastic right in the middle of the foil. You see that? And sometimes you have to kind of adjust it a little bit. Try not to put your fingers into the foil too much. And I do all four sides like so. Now either you can cut it at an angle like I have here, make sure all your corners are, or you can just do the square corner. So I'm going to put that down on my tabletop, my workspace, and remember that the sticky side is showing up. So I'm going to put my mosaic facing down. I'm going to put the next piece of plastic over the top. And then I'm going to line it up. And then I just want to make sure I just take it with my fingernail and then I push it over. Making sure that it gathers everything and tapes everything that we have in between. So it's taping the, the front piece to the back piece of plastic. And there. I'm going to show you, sometimes I'm going to show you how each corner looks. And when I put my finger like this to push it up straight, and then I'm pushing it to catch, to gather that last piece of plastic. And then this one, because I wanted to show you the different corners, I'm going to just clip that a little bit. And clip that. just taking off the excess there. And the last edge, we're gonna, again, we're going to straighten it up and then push it over. I'm going to turn it over and there's my, my, ed, my metal edge. And then what I want to do is I want to take a pencil and I want to make sure that it's smooth. And you can see how the different corners are. You, this one here is where I didn't cut it, so it kind of sticks out a little bit. And then this one is where it's cut, and it gives a little bit better corner for the front edge. I like that. Make sure you go all your corners, and there you have it. Now, remember when I was showing you the different squares that we were doing, I want to show you that you don't have to be so simple. You can actually take this as a grid and you can you can do different shapes. Here's one with a heart. So I just took my grid and I, I cut my pieces so that they would fit in that same grid. And the same thing doing a leaf. This is a leaf, again cutting it to fit into the the different the grid so that shows you how versatile this project can really be it can be really simple or you can get a little bit more detailed so what do you think of that project isn't it great you know you don't have to just stop at using cereal boxes too you can use the soda can boxes the boxes that soda cans come in any boxes that any food products come in everything that has a colorful um, box print to it works great on that project.